Intel, John Ford's got it. Yeah, I'm going to give you uh, the earnings numbers. Also going to tell you about this transaction where Intel is selling uh, the smartphone modem business to Apple for a billion dollars. First, uh, the earnings numbers. Intel beats on revenue, turning in $16.5 billion versus uh, 15.67 expected. Also, earnings per share comes in at $1.06 uh, versus $0.89 cents expected. Uh, outperformance really in client computing, uh, $8.8 .8 billion there versus a flat 8% expected. Data center group also outperformed a bit, $5 billion versus 4.9. Uh, Internet of Things also stronger. Now, this was an anticipated deal, uh, Apple buying Intel's modem business. We got some details here in the release. It says Intel and Apple have signed an agreement for Apple to acquire the majority of Intel's smartphone modem business. We're going to find out exactly what that means. That includes approximately 2,200 Intel employees that are going to join Apple, as well as intellectual property equipment and leases, this says. The transaction valued at a billion dollars expected to close uh, in the fourth quarter of 2019, subject to regulatory approval. Of course, this is important, as for a long time, more than a year, we saw Apple and Qualcomm really at loggerheads uh, over patent issues, over licensing issues when it comes to smartphone modems. They did resolve that, sign a six-year agreement, but now Apple, with this business from Intel, has the potential to grow its own uh, smartphone modem business internally. This would follow a legacy of Apple incorporating technology, not just hardware and software as its legacy has been. But way back in 2008, it bought PA Semi, uh, which was a chip design outfit, allowed it to design low power chips for the iPod and eventually the iPhone as well. They've integrated more with the A series chips for the iPhone, W series for headphones. You can imagine they want to do something similar for smartphone modems in general, as those are going not just into the iPhone, but also into iPad across all sorts of different mobile devices. That should help them on margins long term as well as intellectual property, guys. A really good context. John, thank you. Uh, Intel shares up almost 5%. The deal was rumored, Stephanie. You're an Apple shareholder. Do you yeah. like it? Yeah, like I'm a not strategic move? Yeah, I'm not surprised. They're not hostage to Qualcomm, obviously, as um, we just heard. But um, I think it's really a, a, this is a really good report from Intel, too. I mean, it, it truly is. And it's contrast so much to last quarter when they actually lowered guidance. Now, we knew PCs were going to be very strong for Intel. Data center actually also was better than expected, and the guidance is actually better than expected. Stock, I mean, this thing trades at 12 times earnings, only up 11% year to date. It's been a laggard, so you can see exactly why it's rallying. And again, on, from the Apple point of view, I think it's in line and it's a, it's a modest positive. Paul, you, you were looking at sentiment around Intel as well. Well, yeah, so I mean, analyst sentiment is, <laughs> I think, the weakest on the stock percentage of buy ratings in like five years. But uh, Alphabet and Intel, these are really two important reports. They're both doing well, whereas April, those, both of those stocks bombed in the end, end of April. And that sort of helped set the stage for overall weakness in the market in May. So the fact that they're reacting positively and that they're, you know, Intel, as Stephanie said, beating data center sales, which was that was a big area of uh, potential weakness. Are they losing a step, losing to competition? Uh, this, that's a really impressive. Uh, in other words, these two had something to prove. Yeah, and, and they yeah. came and they came through on it.